You might think the trees and technology have little to do with each other, but the connection is clear for students in the Wilderness Technology Alliance. At summer camps, these kids spend time in the wilderness learning teamwork and responsibility. They follow that up with technology classes where they learn marketable computer skills. It's a winning combination that makes for a tech-savvy teen who can now give back to the community and to schools. Okay, we're going to put out this ultraviolet meter out here today to measure the UV. Our experiment for the National Park is to monitor ultraviolet radiation. Uh, we set our uh, meter out every day during class and collect it at the end of the period. And they're going to display all their um, research into their website to make it somewhat educational for the public and for other uh, school kids that may be interested in doing similar experiments. The Wilderness Technology Alliance began in 1995 producing projects in both Mount Rainier National Park and Olympic National Park. And the beauty of the wilderness as our nation is grasping with issues of character education and violence in schools, is that a wilderness experience is devoid of any opportunity for prejudice. Right, let's go. And one of the neat things about the wilderness is that it's an excellent teacher and that um, you have to plan ahead when you go out there. And if you don't plan ahead uh, well, you may end up getting wet. And it's the same thing with uh, your jobs and uh, working for clients. You need to plan ahead in order to pull off successful projects. This is a website we made over the summertime and we collaborated with about 64 other students from around Washington State to create a virtual backpacking trip website. I see this as a program that can become self-sustaining. All the money that the kids make in their projects of designing websites comes right back into the school which is um, a lot different than most grants that will last a year and then once the funds dry up the program dries up so it's really exciting to know that this this program has the potential to continue on down the road for many many years. Hanford gave us donated 2,000 computers to us uh, last month. In our hardware program, these students are redeploying surplus computers donated by generous corporations and generous government agencies. They refurbish these computers, they provide them to low-income families, they also provide evening technology training classes. The students are literally bridging the digital divide on their own. And that was one of our goals, was to have the kids be able to learn the technology well enough to share it with others. And isn't that what we want from learning. And right now we're going to be using Star Office, so if you can find the Star Office icon on your desktop and double click that, it should start up. The offshoot was to try to also get community members into our school, trying to demystify technology. And it has worked very well. Because it gives free computers to the community. <laughs> and it helps us parents that our kids know more than, than we do. When I see or hear of a young person who has gained confidence or a spark goes off or, or you could just see it in their eyes that, wow, suddenly things that they thought were impossible are not only real, but they're doing them. And it just absolutely tickles my heart. Thank you so much. In our programs, students, students gain character skills in the wilderness and then apply them to technology education and service learning projects. It requires a blurring of lines between business, education, and government. But we would not be here today if it were not for the courage of champions willing to take risks to help others. Champions like Bill Briggle and Mike Bradley, who know the value of wilderness in character education. Champions like Dr. Terry Bergeson and Cindy Agnew, who invited partnerships with business in technology education. Champions like the Department of Energy, Macromedia, Microsoft, the Washington Service Corps, AmeriCorps, Discurb, and others that believe that high school students can do professional technology work. And champion teachers like Sarah McReynolds here today who give all they have for the hopes and dreams of students. Thank you so much.